it's the galaxy glare kitten and welcome back to another episode of wear or tear today we'll be talking about haikyuu specifically the haikyuu uniforms i was able to get some of the school uniforms for some of the schools but we're mainly just going to be talking about um the volleyball uniforms and maybe the libro outfits as well we'll first start with our protagonist team Parasano. I love the black and the orange. There's a little bit of white here and there, but it's placed to so that it looks tasteful and not tacky, and I'm just living for that. The way that the collar is designed, I really like that. It just doesn't look tacky at all. And the Libro uniform, the one that Nishinoya is in, I love that too. I prefer the regular uniform because, like, the Libra uniform looks a little too bright, but that's probably the whole point, so all in all, I would wear this. Now about the Karasuno uniform. All I have to say, it's boring, but it's also safe, so anyone can wear this and look okay in it, they can look decent. With like the right accessories, maybe it might look good. I don't really like pairing the hoodie with it like Hinata did, but some people can make that work. I like the way Asahi wears his uniform. I'm not really a fan of the jacket, if I'm being quite honest. But like, wearing it the correct way for me would probably be having it fully unbuttoned and just like either hanging it off of my shoulders or like tying it around my waist because then I would be a little happier wearing that. But, um, tear. <laughs> it's too boring for me, just tear. <laughs> now on to Nekoma. I love the uniforms. The red and the black uniform, stunning. Looks hella attractive. The white and the red uniform also. Mm. This, both are just, Chef's kiss. I love them both. I would wear them both. Oh my god, I love these uniforms to death. Now, Nakamo's uniform looks a lot more like a Western school uniform. So, I mean, I would wear this. Not because it looks Western, but the tie. I am living for the tie. If Karasuno had something that would, like scream oh this is Karasuno like hey we have an orange tie or like maybe our jacket has the school insignia on it maybe I don't know anything else make the pants a different color something just do something for fuck's sake with that uniform it's too boring but back to the neck of my uniform I would wear this mainly because of the tie and the sweater looks comfy. Next is Fukudurani's uniform. Love this. Honestly, in my opinion, it's one, arguably one of the best uniforms, aside from Nekoma's. But I stan the Fukudurani uniform. The way the yellow is placed on the black, it's not- the yellow isn't really placed on the white part, so it doesn't look tacky. You can really see the accents that they put on the uniform, so like, the person who designed this put a lot of thought into this. So like, I love this. I love this uniform. And yes, I would 100% wear it. <laughs> Now, I haven't forgotten about the Libro uniform. I love this as well. It fucking slaps. I mean, seriously. The uniforms for Nekoma and Fukudurani are, like, peak. Peak design. I would wear this one 100% as well. Because with the white accents, it juxtaposes the other Fukudurani uniform really well. The first one has black accents, accents while well, the f other one has white accents, and they just really work well in tandem on the, on the court. If you've seen, like, pictures of the side-by-sides, ah, I love it. I love it so much. 
the final Fukudurani outfit that I'll be talking about is the school uniform. Now, I really like this a lot. The gray blazer works really well with the tie. The blue color, it just complements it. It pulls it all together. The gray, it isn't too dark, but it isn't too light. It doesn't look dirty gray, but it looks more like um, a silver gray. So very tasteful in color choices. I would definitely wear this uniform. Now on to Shiratorizawa. I like this uniform, but the purple, the, sh the specific shade of the purple with the white, it just feels a little awkward. I would have gone with like maybe a deeper purple and that would have worked better for this uniform. I don't know. I just feel like that it, the color combination's just a bit off in the slightest bit. I don't think I would wear it. I would just feel so awkward with like, oh my god, oh my fuck, the color combination. I fucking hate this. It's just something that I would be thinking about the entire time while wearing it. So like, I really don't think I can see myself wearing this uniform. <laughs> Now for the school uniform of Shiratori Zawa. I really like the white blazer with the, the purple trim. It looks smart. It looks a little bit fun. Well, as fun as you can get for a school uniform. But it also gives off this air of elegance in a way. The purple tie ties it together really well, I know. Tie, tie, but whatever. Um, the shirt underneath, it looks kind of like a grayish. So it doesn't really merge with the blazer. I like that. The pants, I, I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted on the pants because the purple in this case goes well, but it's fucking plaid. Plaid pants. How? How did they decide that this was a, an idea? Because if I'm going to be completely honest, plaid pants remind me of pajama pants. So, what the fuck? Just why and how was this a thing? But yeah, I would wear this, but I would still feel a little awkward about like, oh shit, am I wearing my pajama pants or am I walking to school in my actual uniform pants? So, I would still wear this, but I would still feel a little awkward. All right, how the Josai. So the teal and the white, I really like how this works. There's not much to talk about for it because their uniform doesn't really stand out very much. Yes, it's aesthetically pleasing, but is it very memorable? No, it, it's not. I mean, the only reason you'd probably remember the uniform is if you, you found one of the guys ha wearing it hot. And to be quite honest, yeah, that's understandable. But, I don't know, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing in the world, so, I guess where? Alright, the reverse uniform, kind of the same thing, but since it's not white being the main color, I think it's a little, a little bit more memorable. Not by a lot, though, so, Terra Pile, I kind of preferred wearing the white one but like if we're talking about memorability when it comes like to Alba Josa uniforms just not at all it's not memorable at all okay now the Alba Josa school uniform I like this honestly I really just like white blazers so immediately they get a point <laughs> I like the blue shirt and the red tie. It kind of clashes, but in a nice way. So no complaints here. The cream sweater on Obikawa, eh, could do it, could live without. It really just depends on preference of the day. But today I actually like the cream sweater. So the only problem I have with this is the plaid pants. Plaid pants, 
my number one enemy. I can never figure out if like the plaid pants are supposed to be just a pajama thing or if they can be worn outside because I mean there are times I'm mistaken for regu regular plaid pants so that you can wear outside for pajama plaid pants and have almost walked out of the house in my pajama pants instead of actual regular pants. So it's just a me thing, but I fucking hate those plaid pants. So um, I would wear the uniform, but I would just put on a different pair of pants. I am not wearing those plaid pants. You cannot make me. Now, I actually like this uniform from, um, oh my god, in Rizaki. I hope I am saying that right. I momentarily forgot the name. I know, terrible haiku fan I am. But I like this uniform. It's not, it doesn't really fit into the memorable category, but it's simple, it's clean, and most of all, it makes them look intimidating. Did I mention that Kita looks hot in this? Yes, I am a Kita simp. But I like the uniform, and I would wear it. You can pair this with a lot of different things, and it would still look good because the main colors are black and white, which can be paired with almost anything. All right, Josenji. Honestly, they look like bananas. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, the uniform just reminds me of a banana so much. But I actually like it. I don't like wearing the color yellow myself. I wouldn't wear it, but it actually looks like a good design. That much I'll give it. I quite personally like the black collar and the white accents. So... They have a good design, but personally, I just wouldn't wear it because I hate wearing yellow. <laughs> Alright, date tech. So, I like the uniform. The green, it's, it's kind of like a muted pine green, and quite personally, I like that. It pairs well with the yellow. There's not much more to say about it. The uniform itself is slightly memorable. It's it's not very memorable, but I still like it. So yes, I would wear this uniform. All right, Ichiyama. God, I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, I love the uniform. The fact that the yellow fades to like this bright, almost, um neon green i really like that it's a new it's interesting it's fun i haven't seen that on any other haiku uniform it's great it's memorable and most of all sakuza looks very nice in it but moving on from that <laughs> um the yellow with the black on the midsection works really well though the black kind of kind of intersects the numbers on his chest, but I'm willing to let that slide. But I really like this uniform. My god, I would love to wear this. All right, last uniform that we'll be talking about. My god, I hope I said this right. Noebi. 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 <sighs> anyway, Daisho in this uniform. I like it, but I also hate it. The green and yellow combination, it, I don't know, it's just this green and this yellow don't really work together. They clash, but also it kind of works out okay, in a sense. I mean, if you're not really focused on the color aspects of, of the uniform and you're just focused on how they're playing, then I guess it's ignorable. But from a person who is obsessed with fashion and who wants to be a fashion designer. From my perspective, I hate it. I hate it so much. So no, I will never wear this. I would have to be dragged kicking and screaming into the changing rooms to even get remotely close 
to this uniform. No matter how much I love Daisho, if he was in real life and wearing this thing, I wouldn't go within 20 feet of him. Alright, that's it for this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It helps support the channel more than you realize. Also, click the little bell on the side of the subscribe button because it lets you know when I post a new video. YouTube doesn't really let you know when I do all the time, so it would be really helpful if you clicked the notifications bell. I'm also doing chibi portraits on my Etsy. It didn't really show up the first time. There were some loading issues and some Wi-Fi issues. Sorry about that, but there are some examples right now on screen. I also have an Instagram account where you can see the finished piece of what I was drawing right here and more art if you'd like. Um, yeah, that's also on screen right now. And I think that's it. So I hope you come back for another video and I'll see you next time. Bye!